forward, how do we embed? Well, hey, Jelly, of course. Now I'm gonna walk you through some examples. What I'm doing here is I'm using Visual Studio Code. I prefer Visual Studio Code, so I'm using that. I'm just gonna build a new file in here. Let's say simple embed. So the simplest way that you can embed is actually given for you by Tableau. Uh, let me go into another browser tab and here. I'm going to sign into another server of ours, which is our embedding server. I have some demo dashboards. I'm going to go to this one. This is a Tableau demo dashboard. I'm going to try to embed this view inside a portal. So the simplest way that you can do this is actually, well, some, some uh, website tools will give you the option, opportunity to give the URL and it will grab an iframe around it. That might be the case. Uh, I'm not talking about that today, but I do want to mention one thing, which is that the URL you get up here, there's a URL you see in your tab here, that should not be the URL you ever use when you're embedding. You should not use this URL directly. If you do need a URL, which we will need later, and I will show, walk you through that, but if you ever need a URL for embedding, you should always go to the share button, take this URL that you get here. So copy this link, and then I will just paste that into Visual Studio Code. And then this is what it should look like, but then just remove everything after the question mark, and that is your simple URL. It's very similar to what you have there, except that instead of this hash there, it adds a T and it adds a site. If you have, if you're on a different site, if you're on the default site, then you will not have the site demo stuff. It will just be T and then views, but that changes, but you don't have to worry too much about that. All you need to know is always take the URL from here, this copy link option, do not take it from up there. Another thing that happens that if you want to embed though, the easiest way is in the share button, you might have noticed I have this copy embed code button. That is what you need to click. Just copy this embed code. And now let me go to Visual Studio Code again. And I'm just gonna paste this, remove that. And I'm gonna paste this in here. That's it. I have my simple embed code in here, right? And now I'm just gonna copy the path for this. Uh, I'm gonna copy path. Yeah, Visual Studio Code cleans it up for me, so it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna go in here. This is the path that we're looking at. And suddenly I have the dashboard. That's all you need. You just need to copy that embed code and you get the dashboard. As simple as that. So if you have some dashboard that you wanna embed in a portal and show on a TV screen all day long, this is the easiest way to do that. Go for it. One thing to notice about this is this dashboard has automatic sizing, uh, but it's scaling a bit weirdly. I think that's because the embed code specifies what the iframe should look like. Um, is that true? Yes, it has the width here. It's customized what the width should look like. And because of that, my iframe is stretching to that width as specified. Um, all right, and one more thing that is maybe a bit tricky, uh, I should caution, caution you against is if you're in this view where you're looking at the dashboard and you go to the share button here, you will not see the embed code option. That is one thing to not get confused with that. You have to go into the view and then click the share button, and then you can copy embed code and you get the code for you. Great. And now that we have the simple embed option, this is my simple embed. That is the easiest way to embed, right? So that is great. You can put this in your HTML script. So let's say you have an HTML script that you've already built. You can easily place this wherever you want in there. And, or if, yeah, and then you can start viewing your page the simplest way. However, this is not going to allow you to do stuff like we have here with the buttons or to do crazy stuff like this, where you have a view and you can move it around and you can have different images on what that looks like. You're not going to have this kind of customizability, right? You're not going to get the best of the WebKit because with the JavaScript API, you actually have the possibility to have two-way interaction. So that is what we eventually need with this. So. The simplest, so the next way, the way I would say is best to work with this is to actually use a JavaScript API to embed. So I'm gonna jump in here, I'm gonna create another file. I'm gonna call this JS embed, HTML. This is gonna be the file we work with for the rest of the session. And I'm gonna open my Chrome window on the side. 
Oops. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, let me just close. I don't want to close that. Okay. Great. And now in this JSON web, now I'm using uh, VS Code, which is pretty cool. It does a lot of things automatically for you. For instance, if I want this HTML piece, I can just hit an exclamation mark, and voila, I've got the uh, HTML, the basic HTML stuff I need. So I'm going to rename this document. I'm going to change the title to, uh, let's say, um, Tableau JavaScript. Oh, JS example. There is my title, and I have some stuff in here. <clears throat> now, what you need to begin with, you can always pull this from this sample embed if you want to. If you see from the sample embed, I have this script piece up here, right? This JavaScript, and it says this. I'm just going to copy that to the other place, and I will show you what that means. Now, JavaScript always needs a source to pull your code from. And this source can be taken from your Tableau server, but it does not matter. It doesn't have to be a Tableau server. So let's say, for instance, you have a Tableau server that's hidden behind a firewall, and then you have an embedded view that you're publishing somewhere else, and it's able to access the view through some firewall protocols. But for whatever weird reason, you cannot reach your server directly. That's fine. You can actually even point this to public.tableau, com and this one works as well because the same javascript api the same javascript script is available in all these places so you can go there as well for this so but i'm just going to stick to using embedding.bistry.com and i'm just going to pull this javascript ah i noticed that one thing that it changed for me is that this script is outdated so i need because i was going for the simple embed option so i'm going to update this script to point to this. Now, these are all things you can find in the JavaScript uh, reference for Tableau. Uh, I would just, if you want to find that, I would just Google for Tableau JavaScript examples, and you can find the tutorial in here as well, where you can walk through stuff, and they will tell you exactly what to use and how to use it, right? Uh, but let's just go ahead here. Let's see, I have the script in here. That is great. Now, the next thing I need, um, the next thing I need is, let's say I want a div with my visualization. Now, this is a bit more complicated than we had in the simple embed, but it's not that complicated. Now that I have my JavaScript being pulled in, I'm just going to create a function in here. So I have my title. That's great. I'm going to create a script in here. And this is of type uh, text JavaScript. Oops, there we go. That is my script. And in this, I'm going to create my first function, which is purely just going to start my visualization. So this function is purely for starting a visualization. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create Tableau base holder. It remembers this because of course I did this earlier. Doing a cold demo is never a good idea, but I did this earlier so it remembers it from a different file. I'm going to call this Tableau Wiz. This here is actually a div container that I need to create. So I'm going to create that div container, uh, which is going to be in my body. I'm going to call it div. And the ID of this div is simply Tableau Wiz. And this is going to have a little script that is just going to call my function in it Wiz. Right, so this within my HTML, the script is going to call my function in it with, and it's got it's called Tableau with. Perfect. I'm jump in, and now in this function, I'm going to start creating uh, the things that are going to call my dashboard. So the first thing, of course, I need is a URL. It needs to know where to find this dashboard. So for this URL, again, as I said, you do want to go into your dashboard, which is on a different browser, of course, and I'm going to just open the dashboard here. Yep. So you do want to go into a dashboard and share and then copy the link. So do you want this link, never that link? And I'm going to paste this in here. You now I have a lot of different elements in here. For now, it's fine that I have all these elements. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. 
right? So, but if you do want, you can always reduce this. You don't, you don't need all of it. Let me just reduce it to just that much. Perfect. Um, now we end up, we have the URL, let me jump in and let me create some options. So this is because I know what the JavaScript is looking for. In the options, I can have multiple things. I can say width. I want the width to be, let's say, 1,200 pixels. Oops, pixels. And I want the height to be uh, 900 pixels. And then you get to add options. Now, I'll walk you through how you can find all these options in a bit, but bear with me for now. I'm going to hide toolbar, hide tabs. Uh, if you've seen Tableau, you know that with uh, Tableau, you get these. There are tabs up here, usually. There's a little tab up there. There's this toolbar. With the embedded view, you get to hide all of these, which is what I'm doing right now. All right, I've hidden those. And then I'm gonna create a function. Now this is, again, proprietary to Tableau. It's gonna be a function. It's just this. And I'm gonna log something to the console to say I've entered this function. We are embedding. And now, now comes the part. Now we're going to actually take this dashboard. So to begin with, now I've already gone through a lot of options here, but I'm gonna show you where you can get these options from. So this is stuff that I don't expect you to know as a BI developer, but this is for your website developer guys, um, which of course you can share the link with them later and they can go through this. This is the Tableau JavaScript API reference. So in here you have a top level diagram to begin with, which is pretty cool because in here it says where you're starting from. So what we always start with is a whiz. And from the whiz, you can dig down to a workbook level, to a sheet level, and then to different parts of it. So today we'll just do a couple of examples there. But right now, I know that I have options in here. So scrolling up and down, coming in. Once I get my whiz element, I get to customize uh, the options that I can see in there, which are the height tabs, the whiz create options. I can say height tab, height toe bar. So those are things I did here. And then on console, now I'm going to call my whiz element. I'm going to make a variable, which is just scope to this function. So it's going to be whiz. Whiz is this top level element. And then get workbook, which is the function under that. So these methods you can find in here. Now I get the workbook. Then I want to get my active sheet, which in my case is a dashboard. Doesn't matter. Workbook.get active sheet. All right, so now I have my sheet and now that's what I want to view. So now that we have our options, I'm gonna close the options tab. There we go. And now I'm gonna create whiz element. I might have an extra thing there. And this is where I call my whiz. And I say, I give a Tableau placeholder which tells me where my div is, where it should place this dashboard, and then my URL, and then the options. Yep, perfect. Let me check if I got the right uh, things in here. Nope, that is closed extra. I can go there, this is unnecessary. Perfect, now let's see if our dashboard works. I've copied this path, I'm just gonna paste it in there. And my dashboard is loading. Perfect. So now my dashboard is loading in my browser, which is great. So now this is coming from the JavaScript API. So you can see it's custom to this fixed pane. So now the width and height have been defined by me. By me. That's why it's fixed to this. But I can also just as easily remove those options from here. And now if I go into my browser again, and refresh, it will size automatically. So now if I'm going to just, just place it there, it's going to resize to take my mobile layout. So that's pretty cool. All right, now we have that. We have the first part of our 